Good morning, all. It's about 20 to 8 here in the morning. Um, I wasn't planning on doing this session, but um, we had someone in, I would say that is family. I'm from a small community, and we have lots of families that are close, and everybody knows everybody. And uh, this person that I am talking about that passed away within the last couple of weeks um, played a big part in my dad and my aunt's uh, lives when they were little. They sort of lived there for a while, off and on, things like that. So uh, I was talking to this person's daughter uh, last night, who is a very close friend of my mom's, and uh, she said, well, maybe, you know, I've been watching some of your videos. Maybe my mom's trying to communicate to you, uh, or with you, sorry, because I had a dream about her, her mom that passed away. And I was telling her about the dream just because I felt it was pertinent. So anyways, I said, well, sure, I'll try and I'll turn on the Spirit app and see if this, uh, I don't want to say her name as usual because I want the information to come through the app. I'll see if this person can come through for us and uh, I'll pass on any messages. <laughs> come talk to me that was a man's voice and the person I'm trying to contact is not gonna let any man stand in her way and if she wants to come through and talk to me she's going to I know that so I'm not sure what you just said sound like Jacette Can you say your name so that we have confirmation I'm talking to the person I'm trying to talk to? Okay, well thank you for coming through there. So uh, that was the name of your husband who passed away before you. I don't know if that means he owed somebody money or if somebody owed him some money. Doesn't mean a thing to me. I'm not judging. I'm just putting up the messages I get. If it means something to the daughter or the family, you guys can maybe make heads or tails of it. Maybe it's just confirmation. Are you with Pat now? Are you reunited with him? I just wanted to relay this memory that I have of going to their house as a child. I've tried to tell it two times now. First time I got interrupted by weird... My father took Gary and I to their house. We would have been four or five. And it was the night that John Lennon was shot and killed, and it was on the news. I remember being at their house on that night. So we're talking almost 40 years ago. What do you think of that, that memory? Okay, well that's awesome. So, I didn't ask for you to say that name, and I don't know what the little first little, if it was just static or something, and then Barney. Well, Barney is the husband of the daughter I was speaking to last night, so I mean, that's freaking awesome. And I, I love these people, Barney and his wife, and I don't want to say her name yet, again, I consider them to be family as well, so I think that should be proof positive. Were you greeted on the other side by loved ones? I'm going to try and ask some questions I think that your family would want to know.
Are you okay and at peace on the other side? Is everything good over there? I think I heard a yes or a yeah. Can you say your daughter's name, the one I was talking to on Facebook last night? Did you just say your daughter's name? That's what I kind of heard. I think it's awesome that you just said your daughter's name and your son-in-law's name. Whoa! I just saw a big, uh, something shot through the screen there. I'm going to have to stop that and rewind that. Is there anybody's ear you want to twist like my grandmother would have done to me? Okay, well, I don't know what you're up to, Patsy, but Mom's watching. Oh, I wanted to ask you. I dreamt about you two nights ago, so that was you that came to visit me, right? Sounded like, of course. Just wanted to confirm it wasn't just a dream. She was actually visiting me. Do you guys want to come through and give a final message to the kids or to your family?